All right, it's Ben Gibson here, one of the artists from Kelty Street Art Collective. I just moved into a house in New Gilston and had plenty of time to start growing my own vegetables and becoming more self-sufficient. I built a bench. I grew all sorts. I grew cucumbers, tomatoes, potatoes, kale, the devil's lettuce. And just before the lockdown, I'd painted a wee mandala in Edinburgh City Centre. Aye, very good. My name is Celie Byrne, and I'm a contemporary artist living in Kelty. I put my creative skills to good use with some portrait painting, a lot of gardening and exhibiting Vera and Lynn for my hesitate installation, hoping to bring a smile for anyone passing by my house. In between, I did some chalk art on the streets of Kelty. It's mostly all gone now, but I'm happy to say RuPaul still remains on a wall somewhere. You'd need to ask the citizens of Kelty what impact my COVID-19 art has had. I just do it, hope for the best and swiftly move on. As soon as we were able, Donna and I got ourselves outside. To allow Donna to concentrate on a commemorative piece in Kelty, I managed to paint her ombre abstract design on the shop shutters in Paul Beth before completing my mural at the Paul Beth United Community Football Club across the road. Right now, I'm teaming up with Wolfgar the Bard and Mark Small, two of my fellow exhibitors from last year's Cooper Arts Festival. We're making a short film for The Secret Fringe. My name is Donna Forrester. I'm one of the Kelty street artists. So I'm a freelance artist, a fiancé and a mum. Um, so I realised how big an impact lockdown was going to have when I had to down tools and uh, leave a job unfinished in Grangemouth, which was an outdoor mural. Um, yeah, but I've kept busy and we've been homeschooling, which has been <laughs> a steep learning curve, but I think we've coped really well with that. Uh, and I've donated some time to re-employ, cutting material for a face masks that they were providing free for healthcare workers. Uh, so that was my good deeds and I've taken some time out to paint for myself and I painted my grandparents from two separate photos and uh, Botticelli's Mars and Venus. But then as soon as outdoor work could resume, I've uh, completed um, a mural of a fallen soldier from my hometown, Paul Lowe, and his brothers had raised the funds to pay for this project, so... Um, he would be very proud of them and I've managed to finish Grangemouth so now we're talking about projects in and around Fife again uh, which is really exciting When lockdown happened members of Kelty Street Art came up with the idea of supplying art packs to help families in Kelty We worked with other community groups and with both schools. We used some of our own funding together with funding from the Coalfield Regeneration Trust and we were really happy to source, put together and distribute over 250 art packs to Kelty families. It was our way to give a little something back to people in Kelty as a whole community have supported us in many ways with our street art project. Doing a wee bit of art and being creative has just helped to keep me sane. Um, I've painted rocks and put nice messages on them in lots of colours and uh, given them to friends when we were eventually able to visit again. And I've done one wee um, mini street art project so far um, that has just cheered up a wee corner in Kelty and uh, people have been quite pleased when they've seen it. Uh, it's nice to just bring a bit of colour to people's lives. As a teacher in lockdown, I've had to improvise overhead filming equipment using an old table and learn new filmmaking skills. My PC often took a long time to load anything, so I started to make face masks. I wanted to do something constructive while waiting. My own art focuses on song lyrics, so it was natural to stitch them onto masks as well as some Scottish phrases. 
I was inundated with requests and saw an opportunity to raise money for Kelty Street Art as we rely completely on funding. Masks were posted worldwide as well as delivered all over Kelty and I managed to raise over £2,000. When restrictions lifted, Ben and I completed our mother and son street art collaboration, The Beast of Blair Adam, which celebrates the local big cat legend. This includes the words, What's for you, no go by ye.